Welcome to Duncan of Jordanston College of Art and Design at the University of Dundee. I'm Anita Taylor and I'm the Dean of School and I'm really delighted to be here to welcome you to our Explore Day for Art and Design, which includes architecture and urban planning. We really hope that you're going to find out as much as you need to find out about the school and our programmes and what it's like to study with us here at Duncan of Jordanston. We're really keen that you're able to find out in depth, to have a taste of some of our programmes, to ask questions. So please feel free to explore everything that we do in the detail that you want to. Duncan of Jordanston is a fantastic creative hub at the heart of the University of Dundee. And we're very focused on our relationship, our place in the creative and cultural industries. And that means that we're industry facing and engaged. So we're working very closely with industry partners, bringing practitioners and companies, organizations into the school, which we see as having permeable boundaries in terms of how we engage to gain the kind of industry experience that you will need through your programs within the School of Art and Design. We're also research informed, so we're a very research intensive school and we're ensuring that that research, the new knowledge and understanding in and through creative practice is brought into your curriculum, into your learning environment, so that you can understand new developments at the forefront of research within art design, architecture and urban planning. We provide both specialist and interdisciplinary programmes. So we believe that there are different modes of study, different ways of engaging for different students. But interdisciplinarity is something that we really value as much as we do specialism, because we believe that by bringing different lenses to the problems that we face or the challenges and issues we want to address through our subjects, we may create really fantastic solutions. We're also a very welcoming community. We want to be known for our real community spirit um, that exists here in Dundee and in this fantastic city. And we want to ensure that we're an inclusive and intercultural institution, organisation, and that permeates our curriculum, it permeates our learning experience and the environment that we seek to build. So we want to make sure that everybody feels welcome and able to flourish within the context that we offer by providing you skills and enabling you to develop facilities, competencies and experience to develop your imagination, your aspirations and your dreams for your career in our subjects. We also believe absolutely passionately that art and design, architecture and urban planning make lives better because we're able to identify and to address social, cultural and economic challenges through our disciplines in ethical and sustainable ways. We're about reflecting on the world, documenting, analysing and finding new solutions to make things better in our created environment. And we're really keen to address really critical challenges of social justice, climate change, the environment and the way that we live in the 21st century. So we have a set of key values that really are about that the place that our disciplines have in social, cultural and economic terms and the impact that we make on the world around us and how we address real world problems. We believe clearly in facilitating people to understand how they're going to earn a living. So we really focus on employability and we also focus very much on enterprise and entrepreneurship because within our disciplines, you may be going out to work as a sole trader or to operate in a micro enterprise or a small and medium enterprise as much as you might be going out to work in a global company or a very large organisation. So it's really critical that we focus on the different pathways into employability and to earning a living through our programmes. We believe deeply in thinking through making and that we're really about setting out into the unknown, working through our material senses to make product, to make artifact, to make solutions, to make drawings, plans, whatever that might be. But the act of thinking through making is really critical to us as a philosophy. And that means we really value 
both the handmade through to high tech digital facilities. And you'll find when you go and explore our technical facilities that we have access or we provide access to all of that resource for you and the training that needs to underpin that. We have um, we are a people organization. We're here to support and develop people. And we also have the most fantastic people on our team uh, as leading practitioners in their field. And they're all here to support the next generation, our future learners, of which you are, our future generation of practitioners uh, in art design, architecture, and urban planning. And we're here to foster your experience, your learning, through to making impact in your own way through our disciplines learning and into your career. The University of Dundee and the School of Art and Design have a fantastic reputation. The University of Dundee is a world top 200 institution for graduate employment and that's a recent ranking in the graduate employability rankings. We also have been ranked as number one in Scotland for art and design. We're one of the top UK universities for art and design and one of the UK's top universities. We also have two gold awards, one a gold award in the UK Teaching Excellence Framework. We also have a gold watermark for, from the National Centre for Community and Public Engagement, which gives you a sense of our focus on building communities of knowledge and engagement uh, with our learning. And we're also very highly ranked within the last research exercise. Dundee itself is a phenomenal city. It's a beautiful city. It has many natural resources that make it a phenomenal place to be. It's also a small walkable city with fantastic resources, both in terms of culture, uh, in terms of creativity, but also in terms of the connectivity of the city itself. And as you can see from this image, it has, it's set on the most beautiful river, the River Tay. Dundee is a fantastic place to live. It's student-centred, it, there are plenty of things to do, it's an affordable city, it's a developing, regenerating city, and the City Council are absolutely committed to regeneration through creativity and culture. And it has obviously been gaining a fair amount of press recently. It was named as the best place to live in Scotland by the Sunday Times in 2019, but there are all sorts of other accolades that make this a really fantastic city with a fabulous industrial heritage and a really contemporary context to be a practitioner or a student. As a creative city we work very closely with um, Dundee as a city of design. Uh, it's one of the, it's the only UK city of design, UNESCO designated creative city of design. We also have the phenomenal development of the v &A Museum in Dundee which has now been open for I think two years, and it has a phenomenal programme. We're a full partner in the museum, so lots of opportunities to engage with their programme, but also other opportunities that that might bring around understanding how a museum works. We work closely with the Dundee Partnership for Leisure and Culture and with the City Council itself. There is another fantastic resource, the Dundee Centre for Contemporary Art, and that the DCA is literally at the end of the road on Perth Road and provides a great resource for contemporary art, for film, for, for socialising, for all sorts of programmes that it offers. There are lots of other initiatives in Dundee which are fabulous. Creative Dundee is fantastic and it runs one of the largest Petra Kucha nights in the UK regularly where everybody involved in the creative industries can apply to be part of a Petra Kucha, which is 20 slides and 20 seconds per slide, 20 slides. So short, fast presentations that provide a real excitement about the amazing things that take place in Dundee, the people who live here, connected here, and the kinds of way they use their creativity to address all sorts of challenges and issues. And it's a fantastic network which provides resources for students too. There's the Dundee Design Festival run by the City of Design team. There is also a developing Michelin Scotland Innovation Park and also Eden Project, which is a really exciting development in the city of Dundee. And we know that Eden Scotland uh, will be developed on the waterfront in the former gas works as the, the, the designated site. And the work on that is taking place now. We're again a founding 
or a contributing founding partner to that as a university. So it's very exciting. It addresses our fantastic climate and environmental credentials. Um, and it's a very exciting project for the city. So it's a city with phenomenal beacons of creativity um, and cultural excellence. And it also has some of the research that you may gain access to are things like the in-game uh, Creative Cluster Centre, which is the innovation for Games and Media Enterprise Centre, which is a collaboration between the other university here, Abate, Dundee University and also St Andrews. And that's around research and development for the gaming industry, of which we are globally renowned um, as a city in itself. And you'll see Grand Theft Auto's logo there. There are a lot of very famous games that were designed or have origins or connections to Dundee, um, which is part of our fantastic lexicon of creative industries in the city. And there are also major companies like DC Thompson, who we work closely with, who are the publishing company, who of newspapers, journalism, but also very famous for the Beano comic and others. Um, so there's a fantastic graphic design heritage in the city. And for those of you who are based in London or visiting London, there's the most phenomenal exhibition at the moment at Somerset House, which plays with uh, reinterpretations and responses to the Beano as a fantastically uh, influential comic. Uh, Dundee was awarded the UNESCO City of Design status in December 2014, and it's a really prestigious accolade. Uh, we became one of, I believe, 40 cities of design across the world, and that means that we work in partnership as a city through uh, a number of those uh, cities, from Beijing to Montreal to Buenos Aires to Bilbao to Istanbul, um, and to date we're the only uh, city in the UK with design designation. So it makes us a very special place for design, which we see as including everything from architecture through to engineering at some ends, uh, but everything in between from textiles, jewellery, silversmithing, fashion, uh, graphic communications, art, the visual arts, the creative industries, it has a, a wide panoply of creativity at its heart, but also cultural organisations, museums, galleries, uh, and other facilities. And v &A Dundee is housed in this fantastic uh, building on the waterfront designed by Kenga Kuma, the Japanese architect. And it's a phenomenal architectural um, asset uh, sitting on the waterfront right next to the Discovery Centre and the very famous historic ship. Um, but within it is housed the Scottish design collection and a range of temporary exhibitions from night fever around clubbing culture, uh, which has been developed in partnership with the Vitra Museum, um, and many other fantastic curated exhibitions that you'll have the opportunity to explore. So we'd like you to explore our courses. We wanted to give you a sense of the context of Dundee, the kind of way that we work with the city, the resources that are here as a place to be. But at the heart of that, of course, is our institution, the University and the School of Art and Design. And we'd like you to explore our courses and you're going to be able to find out much more about the individual programmes by going to the Explore Our Courses section of the Explore Day web pages. But just to give you an idea of what we have on offer uh, in Duncan of Jordanston, uh, I'm just going to talk briefly to the programmes that, that we provide. Um, and just to say our undergraduate programmes in art and design are four year programmes uh, because we have a, in Scotland, uh, a four-year undergraduate uh, programme. And the first year for us is our very distinctive art and design foundation programme, which gives students coming from school uh, a fantastic introduction to the different kinds of art and design subjects there are on offer, which expands the knowledge and experience that you will have gained at school, but prepares you fully for a very intensive learning experience through the next stages of the programme. It is possible with prior learning to join at second year, but we recommend um, that most of our students progress from the Art and Design Foundation. Of course, we have a fantastic induction program for students who join, who may have done a foundation elsewhere, or have prior learning from another program who join later in the program. But first of all, I'm just going to tell you about the architecture and urban planning programs where these are offered as the MArch 
honours programmes, so the five-year programmes with RIBA accreditation for stage one and or part one and part two. And the programmes include architecture, environmental sustainability, environmental sustainability and geography, which is a combined programme with another school, geography and planning, international business and environmental sustainability and urban planning. The architecture RIBA part two is uh, clearly the, the second stage and many students join for the RIBA part two uh, who not so not necessarily an immediate progression and architecture with urban planning RIBA part two is also offered. So we have all the accreditation from RIBA and ARB and other um, accrediting bodies for our architecture programmes which are leading and our graduates go on to careers all over the world, as well as those that re remain in Scotland and indeed in Dundee, which we see as a very positive uh, thing contributing to uh, the architecture profession. Our undergraduate programmes in art and design include the programmes in contemporary art in art and philosophy, which is uh, delivered in collaboration with the School of for the Humanities Subjects and the Fine Art programme. We also have in communication design three programmes, animation, illustration and graphic design. In design and making, we have jewellery and metal design and textile design, and also digital interaction design, interior and environmental design and product design. When you go to the course pages, you'll find out all about the entry requirements for each of these programmes, and you'll find out where you enter them and how you apply to them. If you have any questions, please do ask uh, our team because they know everything about the programmes. They also have not got any questions. They're not used to being asked. Um, and you may present us with a new one, but we'll find out the answer. We also within the school have progression opportunities to masters. So we have a whole taught postgraduate portfolio of programmes, which include a range of um, both specialist and interdisciplinary programmes. So from animation of the effects to art and humanities, art, science and visual thinking, comics and graphic novels, design for business, design for healthcare, fine art, forensic art and facial identification, medical art, product design, spatial planning with sustainable urban design. So you can see from some of those program titles where our research informed learning is inflecting some of our fantastic expertise and unique offer as well as providing a fantastic opportunity to use our studios and resources here in the school. So as I've already said, from hand to high tech, we draw and make things in really complex uh, visual effects and 3D modeling and printing, and we work in immersive environments. So everything in between textiles, um, jewelry and metal smithing, we have forges, foundries, um, and all sorts of workshops for you. It's absolutely intrinsic to our philosophy of thinking through making that we provide these amazing technical resources. And we also provide beautiful, large, bright studio spaces, many of which have a fantastic view over that rather beautiful river you saw earlier in the presentation, but also into the other aspects and areas of Dundee. And we have dedicated spaces for you to undertake your studio practice or within the context of your discipline. So spaces and Resources are analogous to the professional context within which you'll work, and there's a space for everybody here. Please do take a tour of the facilities in the Discover Dundee DJ CAD section of the Explore Day website, because hopefully you'll find and get a taste of how we operate and the kinds of facilities that we have. Also in the guide for the Explore Day web, page, web pages, uh, there are video guides to how to create your portfolio. And many of the questions we have are, what does a good portfolio look like? What do I need to include? And the video guides are there to help you create your portfolio and to explore some of the examples of portfolios that we've seen. So this is about supporting you to make your application to us. And while we do have um, grade requirements of what you meet, we, we have contextual admissions which is about seeing your academic performance through exam results in the context of your talent and uh, potential through your portfolio. So we expect to see portfolios that may look something like this, but may look completely different, but they may largely have some drawing and sketchbooks practice 
and other examples of your projects and independent projects that you've undertaken to date. So I hope that you're going to really enjoy your visit to the School of Art and Design. And while this is an online visit for the Explore Days, we're very keen to welcome you physically to the school. We'd really love to see you here and to meet you online or in situ to answer the questions that you have. And you may already have visitors because we have other fantastic public facing resources like the Cooper Gallery, which is a plus Tate uh, organisation. So recognised as part of the plus Tate network with a fantastic outward facing, intercultural, inclusive, wonderful contemporary art programme, but also offers amazing ways for the students to engage uh, through additional learning experiences. So there might be a curation group, a writing group, uh, all sorts of things, but it's open to the public too. So you may meet all sorts of professionals through some of those resources. And that's just an example of the way that we engage both with our learning community, our research community, and our publics uh, who relate to us here in Dundee. So I very much hope that you'll have a wonderful visit. I very much hope that we're going to get to meet you in the real, either as a visitor or as somebody who's going to join us on one of our programmes. We really do want to make the most of your aspirations, your ambitions and your talents. And we're here to support you on that journey. So thank you for joining us. Please do keep in touch. Please do ask questions and please enjoy exploring Duncan of Jordanston College of Art and Design at the University of Dundee. Thank you.